Let's try it again. Okay, I like that, Picasso. I like all of this. All of that is nice. Very, very nice start. Boom. 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 We can even rock the stone. Nah, let's not rock stone. I feel like it's a little bit too late. Kind of ish. Get banana, though. For sure. Get banana. Boom, boom. And we'll just roll with this. I think this is great. We got our DPS. We got our healing. He's pretty much the, we got a, a, the exact same build. Literally the exact same build. The only difference is, is I have the lump of coal for that 70% chance of dealing plus one damage. And other than that, it's just crit. And like, that's really it. Other than that, it's just who crits. Oh, I crit. I think that's pretty much. Yep, that's what the game came out into. Whoever's going to crit. <laughs> that's funny. Um, Let's get the. Ooh, do we get the space? Yeah, we need the space. We're not going to be able to combine without it. So let's get the space that. You know what? I'm going to sell it just to, just for the combination. Selling it literally just for the combination a little bit earlier than everyone else. DPS is higher. Um, healing is higher. We should win. For sure. Good game. Uh, there we go. There goes that hero sword. Love to see it. Um, let's get space as well. Let's reserve that. Roll... You know what? Let's get another banana. I don't mind having another banana in my arsenal. Versus poison, dude. And we got a lot of DPS, but he's got shield, which is going to hurt. But DPS might just be enough. Seems like it. Hell yeah. Thank you, sir. Boom, boom. Um, Let's get the... Let's get this for... Well, 7, 8, 9, 10. Damn, we're going to need one more. You know what? Let's just get this because I also want to get the fanny pack as well let's roll uh, not the best roll again okay i'll get space and that's it okay i need some weapons though i need some some weapons to show their sales to me some in-game weapons please did we lose this one our dps dropped because we got the hero sword i believe good game though it's okay i'll take that l that's fine Ooh, a ruby egg Ruby egg this early is nice. I like that. I like that. I like that. Let's get it. Definitely getting you. <clears throat> and we'll just roll with that. That was a huge investment. So we're probably going to lose these next few rounds. But we got health. So um, we might still be fine. Regardless. Do we out DPS it? We do out DPS this guy. Hell yeah. All right. I'll take that. Thank you, sir. Oh, buddy. It goes the goober. There goes the goober. I'm thinking I want a nice, juicy bow and arrow. That's what I'm thinking right now. That's what I'm thinking right now. We could even go poison bow and arrow. With a goober, though, is kind of interesting. I don't think I've ever had a poison bow and arrow with a goober. It could work, though. You know, it could work. Um, I say we get it. We can even get it now, actually. Cause this hatches next round so that'll be another form of dps we can utilize so yeah and we'll get space here and i'll just reserve that potion because i don't i don't know you might get the bone arrow you know what i mean and that could lead to a poison build of sorts which can be good which can lead to a w potentially so yeah i think that'll be i think that'll be good um, do we out heal this guy? Even though he's got way more activations than we do on his goober. Looks like it. Even with his health potion being used right there. Wow. I'll take that. Thank you, sir. All right, there we go. Now we just need to set up this goober in a way that is smart. <laughs> um, let's see here. We can just literally just move it over by one and then put that there. Um, and that should be straight. I mean, we could use some food over there. Might not be a bad idea. Literally just move this entire setup that I got going on over there. Nah, that, that should be that should be good. Nice. Okay, and gloves of haste here. I think is a good choice. Um, even putting it right here would be a good choice. I kind of want to put it on a banana though. 
if anything. I don't think I'm... Well... Nope, that works. Boom, boom, boom. Double banana on the activation. That's not too bad. Not too bad. Cap of resilience. And let's get this for space. Which can just go there for now. And I think that's good. Okay. I think that's good. Versus a ripshaw with a torch. Okay. Let's see how we do here. Okay, I think he out DPSs us. Um, he got rid of our thorns as well. He's got a stamina issue though, and we don't, which is a really, really good thing. So we should be able to out DPS him because his weapon wasn't able to be used because of that stamina issue he was having. I don't know what item to get here. I don't know what item to get here at all. We could just not get the poison flask and not get the poison, po uh, the poison bow and just don't go poison here. Let's go straight crit. Get the blue eyes white dragon. Uh, I think we go crit, honestly. And try to invest into a second weapon. I think that's the best play. As soon as I say that, bow and arrow. I mean, we could still use the bow and arrow as a second weapon though. So there's that. Which I think that's probably what we do here. Because we're not going to be able to generate poison without that poison thing with thorns, right? And we don't have any potions, uh, stone skin potions. We don't have any poison potions. So I think getting the bone arrow here is probably the best play. And then hopefully we can get another lucky clover. Hopefully. Um, Let's move this situation around just a bit to actually put you somewhere. And we need more space. It's by you. Roll. Space kind of helps, but we definitely need more space here. Um, sell the spike shield. I gotta sell it eventually. Yeah, I think that's a better place. Sell the spike shield just so we can get um that going, and then we can actually have a spot for this guy. Stamina use is a one point two, not bad considering we got two ba uh, bananas. Um, probably want to switch these two uh, around though, just because this increases damage when you hit. This only hits every 2.2 seconds, this hits every 1.4. It's a whole one second faster. So, it's probably better. And I can just do that instead. Just good. Let's get that. Give me a clover. Give me a clover. Don't give me a clover beautiful <laughs> um it should be fine with this though i think this is solid okay. going against an excalibur i haven't seen that in a good little minute a little bit of mana generation as well dps is crazy for that excalibur holy crap oh big critical right there come on keep critting keep critting there we go we'll take that w thank you sir Ooh, acorn collar is beautiful um Damn. I'm gonna buy it. Still know what weapon I want to put it on. I feel like putting it on a bone arrow is better. Because that actually increases in DPS. Which is good. We can also... Well, ooh, I want to get this. But I don't have any, anywhere to put it. Unless I put it here for now. It makes the bananas faster. Could sell the garlic. Nah, I'll just keep it like this. Let's not be too hasty. Versus poison uh, with the thorn whip situation going on. Interesting. We should be able to kill this guy, though. Our crit's going to be good. Yes, sir. 50. Let's go. Ooh, and it's on sale. Oh, and I get a mana thirst. Ugh. I could sell this burning torch for a mana thirst right now. Which is probably a better late game weapon. 46 damage. This one does two to four. Already does more damage. And then the uh, the life steal. Helps us out with survivability. Less stamina cost. Overall, it's just better. So I get it. 
Let's do this. Let's actually move this entire situation up by one. Sell you. Buy you. Get you so you can combine. And then we could just get that for jewels. Which will be good. I think that's good. Wow, that's a lot of mana. We lose this. Their DPS is crazy. Look at that DPS. Holy crap, their DPS is nuts. Yeah, our DPS takes a little bit of time to ramp up theirs. Nope, not at all. But boom, um, we're gonna need that mana generation as well. So let's go ahead and utilize that jewel. Let's get some space here. Um, I need. I still need to roll for a clover. So that's a thing. Cap of resilience. Never a bad thing. We can even get that for the life steal space roll. Okay, game doesn't want to give it to me because the game hates me. It's fine though. I hate you too, game. Let's do that. Boom. I want to make this faster, so I'm going to just switch that out. I think that's a better switch out. Um, And yeah, let's keep that like that. Um, That can go there, and this can pretty much go anywhere. Well, we just put it there. That works too. I think that's good. <clears throat> okay. I think that's good. Going against magic style plus mana thirst. A lot of health. Regeneration. I feel like people mainly do this for the poison. The cleansing of poison, which we're not putting any poison on them. So we should be fine as far as that goes. We just got to use up all this man's health potion, which seems like we're going to be doing a lot. <laughs> Used up all his health potions is still doing a hell of damage to him as well. Damn, and we lost? That's crazy. The fact we lost that is insane. Absolutely insane. Got another mana thing, though. And got the glowing crown as well. I say we buy this glowing crown. Man, please give me a lucky clover game. I might have to hard roll forward in a minute here. Honestly. I need that. <laughs> oh, the game doesn't want to help me. Um, Let's put you there for the sake of the blueberry for mana. I think that's good. We're gonna have to go out this entire time without a single freaking... Oh, you get the fucking fortune as grace, but I can't. A lot of stamina uh, he's got. Triple banana with the heroic potion as well. Stamina uses is pretty crazy, but I believe we out DPS him. Besides him critting, I feel like we would out DPS him because this increases. Maybe it's not meant for us to get the Fortuna's Grace. Maybe we just rely on our bow and arrow increasing in damage. Well, it only increases up to seven, though. Just realized that. We still win. Even just that plus seven damage is still a lot of damage. Just good. Um, let's buy space here. I would love to get some more acorn collars. We got a point nine stamina usage. Getting that bird might not be bad. Might not be bad at all, actually. I said we get the bird. Hmm. Nothing there I want. I do want space here. Let's get some space here. Um. Yeah. This so well. Let me see here. I want to make this faster, which means I would have to replace that though. Which isn't ideal. Because there's a whole gap right there now. Unless I just do this. That works. Put that back. Yeah, that works. Awesome. And then we have this just here now. Alright, that's good. Heck yeah. Ugh. That's nasty. It's very nasty. That's a lot of potions. That's a big old hammer with a bunch of daggers on it. Uh, can we out heal him at least? Come on, invulnerability. Let's go. Please, please, please. No. Come on, we gotta win something here. Um, birdie? Where do I want you? Right there. Uh, that is a good spot. That's a good spot. That's a good spot. Okay. Boom. Boom. We can combine you two. 
get you roll more mana? Hmm. I guess. Roll. Um. Hmm. Stone skin potion might not be too bad. We just need one more protective purse to activate it. That'll help us out with survivability. So getting that might not be too horrible. I'm going to get some magic torch, bow and arrow with a ruby whelp. And he's also got potions to proc as well. But hopefully our weapons can be a little bit faster, which we need right now. Um, we got the stamina in order to make the weapons faster. So that'll help us out with DPS and survivability, considering mana torch steals life, which is good. If we could turn those uh, gloves into vampire gloves, that'd be insane, though, honestly. I mean, you need 20, right? Yeah, you need 20. Okay. I don't think you're going to get the 20, bro. I mean, we're at 10 so far. If I could get me a, a mana uh, torch or a mana orb, we'd be straight. I don't think this thing has procced at any battles. Good game, though. We'll take that W. Oh, there we go. Speaking of a uh, vampire gloves. Oh, and we got this. Just good. And then we got this as well, so that'll instantly proc. We just need to sell two things. Um, which I don't really want to sell anything. Yeah, I'll wait. We got three health, so I think we're fine. I'll wait. I don't want to sell anything. Oh, crossblades. Nasty. This thing's doing 15 to 20 damage. Plus the Fortuna's Graze. Give him that critical. Nasty, 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 nasty DPS this guy's got going on. I like it though. Oh, this already is the procs because of uh, Steel Goober. I just realized that. So I didn't even need to get the protective. I'll still get them anyways because it's good to have, but didn't really need need to. At least we got an insta procking potion, I guess. Our DPS is actually kicking it though. Theirs is too because they, they did just do 50 damage to us. 45 there, 25 there. Our DPS is doing pretty damn good, nice uh, as well, considering we have a regular bow and arrow, right? Pretty nasty. This thing's doing 59 damage. Critical's going crazy. Boom. Uh, so vampirism that's gonna help us a lot let's just get the protective person to get it sell that let's roll Ooh, mana or baby i like that and we could put that right there that helps us a lot it's a good spot it's a damn good spot um all right let's roll Ooh, regular sapphire not bad health potion on sale is also not bad Let's get both. Boom. We can put you there. So that'll proc twice, which is good. You can go right there. I think that's solid. I think that's solid. Oh my gosh. The Giga Chad Mana Thirst build. We lose here. We lose here. That healing is going to be insane. He's got Vampire Gloves. He's, he's got three mana orbs. It's gonna be too much mana, bro. He's got fucking five blueberries plus the the school item. Just wait on it. He's gonna be healing up. He's gonna be. We're doing damage now, but just wait on it. Boom, thirty and procked. He, he healed from that. Look at all that healing he's he just did to us. Look at all that DPS he just did to us. We're we're putting up a good fight, but um, unless our mana orb can proc. Nope, nope, nope. Our mana orb almost proc there though, surprisingly. Ooh, that's an interesting one. No gin lamp, though. I mean, we only got two rounds left. Can this realistically proc? I don't... I don't think so. That or we get another bird. Which, we can put this here. Huh. Um... I'm gonna roll... Hello. How's it going? Um, Red one, I believe. How's it going? Welcome to my stream. Trying to figure out where I want to put this vampire gloves. Hello, Goof Bones. How's it going? Welcome to my stream. I hope you guys are doing wonderful. Uh... I mean, I could just put it up here, but like, I'd like something to be there. I don't think I need another Gloves of Haste. Getting a third one, I don't think would be smart. 
Let's say we roll here. Hmm. I could buy this. I don't know. It would be kind of pointless, though. Well... I'm gonna buy it. Buy that, sell the jewel box. We're not gonna need it anymore. Got that for nine, but we're gonna need to sell like seven gold worth of something. That's probably not gonna happen. Realistically. I'm gonna roll. Roll again. Okay, well, we finally got the freaking lucky clover, but I don't know if I wanna use it anymore. I don't think I do. Cause it, I don't know, how good is Fortuna's Grace anymore? Next attack with Fortuna Grace hits twice when the weapon crits, but the DPS is an increase. So realistically, this would be doing, if it hits twice, let's say it's doing 10 damage, it hit twice, that's 20. Let's say it crits, that's 40. So this would do 40 damage, but this already does 40 damage when it crits, when you get that weapon damage up to seven. Cause that's gonna be what, 16? Maximum of 16 plus the crit is gonna be like 32. So, I mean, I guess it matters for the activations, though. When it hits twice, that's double the activation. Which is good. Not sure, though. I don't think it's... I don't know. I mean, it's not that big of an investment. It's literally just two gold. So... It's not like I'm losing much. I'll do it. Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? All right, going against uh, Fortuna's Grace with Burning Torch, Piercing Arrow with the Ruby Whelp. A lot of food, a lot of random jewels on the on the side as well. Interesting. Um, I feel like I out survive and out DPS this guy, honestly. Unless his mana orbs just proc faster than mine, but I don't see that happening. I feel like we generate more mana than him. He's only generated 11, and we've generated 17. Uh, not counting. Oh, he does have a glowing crown. So he used his glowing crown as well, but we still generate more mana. So our mana orb is going to proc before his. We're also doing a little bit, more, a lot more DPS than he's doing. There goes our proc. Yeah, this get this battle's over. This battle's over. Good game, my friend. Yeah, bow and arrow just by itself is actually pretty damn good. You don't even have to upgrade into a Fortuna's Grace, and it's pretty damn good, honestly. But boom, nice combination into a Fortuna's Grace. What do I want here? If I were to pull, what would I pull for? Hmm. That's useless. <laughs> um, I really don't even know. Maybe another mana orb. It's the only thing I could see. Or maybe a djinn. A djinn would be nice. Oh, there goes the other mana orb. I could get this. I could get into this. Where would I put you, though? Nope. Right here would be good, actually. Let's get it. I'll get you, let's roll. Oh, there goes another acorn collar for critical. Um, but the only thing I would want to crit is the Fortuna's Grace, since that's increasing in DPS because of the Steel Goober. Everything else doesn't increase in DPS. There's just there for activation realistically. And maybe just a little bit of DPS. But yeah, we'll put that there. You can go there and we kind of just say goodbye. Oh, no. Kind of just say goodbye to the banana, I guess. That works. Yeah, I'm good with this. That's solid. Let's roll with it. Oh, uh, hammers, man. I always lose to these guys, bro. I always lose to these hammers. Let's see what happens. All right, invulnerability. I like it. it. Gives me some time to build up that DPS for my Fortuna's Grace. Oh, and I just realized Fortuna Grace is only going to proc when Mana Thirst crits. And Mana Thirst doesn't have any um, acorn collars. So the crit chance is low. That's bad. I should put an acorn collar in Mana Thirst. I wasn't thinking. Holy crap, that was a lot of DPS. He's at full health. This battle's over. How did he get so much health at the end there? 
I know this thing procced. I know these procced, but jeez. He got so much health at the end there. I'll take that L. But man, hammer build is actually kind of scary. He got six mana orbs? What the fuck? Was it the blood uh, the blood daggers? With the vampirism? Probably six vampirism. So when one of the when you stun and all of these hit, all of these are doing around six damage. So that's six, twelve, eighteen, bro. That is like so much healing. That's a lot of healing. I didn't even think about that healing. No wonder you have uh, bloody daggers for the vampirism, and then hammer hits plus the stun. You just insta heal right back. You know what I mean? Crazy. Crazy. I didn't even think about the Bloody Dagger's vampirism. This is actually really good. Hammer is actually like mad good. Unironically.